Hello everyone, my name is Luis, also known as LG65, and welcome back for another encounter of Batman the Telltale series. So, so if you missed everything last stream, which was took place last week, um, you know, it was a good time. I managed to finally take a look at what made this game in particular like pretty nice and everything and I'm actually proud to you know have started the series for the first time at, for the first time and you know like I've been like I've actually gotten down and hip to playing a Telltale game for the first time since uh, I cleared the second season of The Walking Dead so 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 hop on in help you make some choices and everything so you know, just hopefully I made the right choice and things of that nature. And, alright, so let's click X to begin. Now, for some weird reason, the, uh, the thing wasn't working, like, last time. The, the crowd play. So, I'm actually going to, you know, leave it disabled as I go through the second episode of the series. So... I'm gonna run it by you and let you all know what it is. Okay, so of course, I'm actually going to. I'm actually not going to log in because I was actually forced to. Uh, I was actually forced to. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's when I took my tongue. I was actually forced to, you know, I, for some reason, log me out. I was actually forced to. Uh, redact a certain scene in the last stream when I upload this to YouTube so like so I actually am not risking that again I'll say that much so you know uh, so here we go second episode is about to go off so let's take a look at it right now hopefully if it doesn't, if hopefully it doesn't mean that I might have to start over, but odds are I don't think I should, given on the safe file that I have, even though like I'm not locked in everything. Yep, here we go. Second episode is a, it's Children of Arco. So let us begin, people. Previously on Batman. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Gangsters 
<laughs> so now what? I'm actually kind of curious where this is going. Of course, as you know, while it's, as every Telltale game, this game series adapts to the choices you make, and the story is tailored by how you play. Alley at 5.30 in the morning. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I One know second, it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well-known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. So I guess this is where I gotta remember the past in some way. So let's start by walking around, huh? Huh, I wonder if there's a move faster thing. 
Like in Minecraft story mode. But I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Oh, Joe Chill, the, the alleged shooter against Martha and Thomas Swain. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Yeah, Your mother arranged the special here. screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Relive those dark memories. Telltale series. Broken memories. Whoa, what a start. GCPD at 856 in the morning. Looks like Car Falcone is gonna get processed. Or something. Oh. Never mind. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you. But this could land us both in hot water. 
I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. It's better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to Come speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen. Hello, Jim. You finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, information? What information? I'm going doing oh, good, Raging Girl Gamer. How are you tonight? I was going to contact your office first and thing. And thank you for the follow. Welcome but to the family. Everything has been a little busy. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. Well, I'm doing fine Falcone tonight. Thanks very life. much for asking. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. <laughs> so yeah. This is if... nice job bringing in Falcone. <laughs> yeah, that son of, of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Renee. Not this. I'm doing all right. Mr. Wayne, I'm Sergeant doing fine. Renee Mondoy. Thanks for asking. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us so, police. Oh yeah, you, I'm enjoying. Despite what the media is saying. Oh, you're at work. Thanks, Sergeant. Oh, uh, what do you work as? We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. Carmen I could from tell Facebook. Batman wanted well, to thank kill you him, for the he held back. Let me know that, so I guess I'm cool right with, thing. you know, what's it called? Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah. So, yeah, to know he's as out you could tell, over the diesel mechanic. Ooh, that sounds like a cool job. Do you enjoy it? All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Hmm. That's a bit of a little bug. Episode 2. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I just My remember that. Can't get in to I, see me. I did remember because you mentioned this on your status. Um, just like every other time. Like you wanted to, to message you if you wanted we need to, to pass off the link or something. You that's weren't all. so eager the last time we met. But then I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth into you. <laughs> Ugh. You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Hmm. Going back decades. Did you have something to do with his death? Oh yeah, you posted Twitch streamers <sighs> on Facebook. So that's oh. what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings. And they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. What? I thought you'd have figured that out by now. You serious, Falcone? You dense party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday what? presents I was never question. able to Let get. Let me ask him this. It's a damn shame you ask me. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Yeah, I wanted to check out Bright Stream. I'm there. tired of looking at Fortnite Be and a good boy and Well, here's a, out, here's huh? a deal with it. Like, uh, like if you're me, like, I'm okay with playing Fortnite, although I've never done it. And PUBG never will. 
Oh. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna ease his pain. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. I, I don't It'd like be so dude, but, easy uh, to give me the whole vial. Can't with just snap. snap. Put an old dog down forever. Cause you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I need you coherent, or you would be gone already. <laughs> oh, there it is. That Wayne streak. Yeah, just going to stay much content better, as possible. Like, not content, Thank but I you. mean, like, uh, you know. Just like, like that reminds what's the word me of I'm your looking mother. for? Like, your father may have been the doctor, but Martha. Constrained. She yeah, had the human maybe. touch. I think you got more of her. Still support in people I follow to stream it, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Mm. Uh, what about now? God bless you for supporting, though. But I never a lot, especially since that like on your parents. Um, so who like one did? of those erratic streamers. You can't erratic, trust anyone. Irregular streamers, I guess you could Least say. of all those you call friends. Your parents learned that. Wait, what the? Who? They're waiting for you in hell. Montoya. The bastard had to die. What? The Hands in the air. Stand down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets what in or out. Go. No. Go. No. Oh my god. Dude. Yeah, I enjoy supporting others and she and she straight up blasts. <laughs> right? We are in deep shit. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had I... Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. Oh, I don't know. I think something this was up with her, because I saw her face. Close. I don't I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. I don't think she ever gone rogue. It just rogue, doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Bill is nasty. Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming uh, in. And we're investigating. You know the what? usual. All right. Slow down, Harvey. Thanks. We need the facts first. Hey, thanks, Carmen. Simple fact. Uh, she walked uh, in and yeah. shot him. Have a good day. Have a they good rest of the day at the work. Facts. And thanks like for following and along. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, boy. I ah, can delay them helpful. for a little while, but we still need answers. Hmm. Uh, Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Yeah, agreed. Uh. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. No problem, and I'll be back I'm to looking host into it, but you. I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. All right, cool. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Alright, let's start with the skin. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. 
Sick iPhone, dude. And then neck area. Fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. No, it does not. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the result. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Uh... uh. Let's go Everything neutral is such here. a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Yeah, no Listen, kidding. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone. Yeah, but right. I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Hmm. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I should have, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me uh, like a parent with a child. Just to let you know, as a notification, you probably see it was saying long. something about revolution. <laughs> oh, dear. Cobblepot said something similar. Oswald. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Mm. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Good idea. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Oh, Vicky. What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories <laughs> about some kind of lockdown. Oh, I'm just going. To I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate Prison for life. Yeah. A day after he showed up at your house. And now, you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Oh, dear. Just give me something to run with. I can't say anything. Just straight up ignore her. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. This is actually the first time since... Well... Actually, when it... Either Walking Dead Season 1 or Minecraft Story Mode Season 1 that I responded with nothing. Probably the former. Because there are a lot of dot dot dots. Anyway, I got another trophy. The children. So that's sad. <sighs> Man. So back to the cave.
Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his... Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found for Docs. Hmm. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Oh, Who'd have guessed yeah. that's how he'd meet his maker. Yeah, Only I forgot about that. Sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. No kidding. I hope he told you something before he was killed. Hmm. What did you learn from him? You know what? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. <laughs> it wasn't Falcone who called the head. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Uh, oh, I have to check it? Okay, that's fine. Um, in a moment, I'll be back very quickly. I'm back so let's check out the two samples starting with the docks. The minute the docks were doused with the base chemicals the reaction was messy they were out of control yeah now let's take a look at Montoya's sample. This refined drug is like a weapon it only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you... Oh. I think it's chaos. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. All right. Oh, search your drone. Select the drone search for Oswald Cobblepot. Okay, so we'll select the westernmost drone. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Wow. Alright, now let's pick out the the uh, central, most central, most drone. Let's see. Found anything. So far, we found nothing. Maybe it's on the western side. Gotham. Got it. Here we go. Bring me her head. Now the easternmost drone. Okay, no. Here we go. Hey, go you go. Come here, right. Right. Whoa. 
little bit. The Skyline Club. How about that? The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Ooh. This is gonna be good. Skyline Club, 4.57 p.m. Ah, uh, this is... Looks like that's Cobblepot's posse. Come on, come on, I know there's gotta be more around here. A man probably had millions in his soul drawer. If, if Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. None of us won't be doing much of anything! Rest of Cobble, Oz is enforcers. Oh. There we go. You lot, come check out this office. We're in. I don't know. Please, come on. Oh. Oh. Hey. You can help me. What? Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh boy. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Oh, Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. Rule no number one experience. if you're Batman. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Ooh, Bring, yeah. He's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. Uh-oh. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> we have to deal with this Joker now. Looks like we're gonna. Oh. Oh. Huh. Gonna have to try harder than this. Big lug go. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. 
A big fan. Huh. Hmm. Oh, Grog. How fitting that I'm playing a DC game with a Marvel movie coming out this week. Friday is the release day of Infinity War, if you can believe that. I need to talk to you urgently. Stack deck, 6 p.m., no cakes. Hmm, street clothes. How about that? Okay, I can take Bruce Wayne in street clothes. Stack deck, that's 626. In, eh? What's up, Bruce Wayne? You really think he'd show up? A new twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. <sighs> Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, the jealous sort very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. <laughs> hey. Cops raided his house. <laughs> so his man. Ooh. Hey, look at the drink box here. Oh, tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> All right, truth. Now, let's get some. Let's get a drink. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. <laughs> Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lived here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? Uh-oh. It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> oh, God. Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Uh... Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. <laughs> Whole other thing, meeting the man in real... You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Mm. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. Oh, at least we kept a low profile. Give me Sorry, credit I again. Need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry things went down the way they did. But I have information. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Mm. Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. Penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly, you know something about him. Mm -hmm. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. Well, here's the thing. You don't know what you're getting into. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. Yeah. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? 
He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Yeah, well, that's he's what no I Joan of Arc, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. Well, I need you, Selina. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the <laughs> gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. <laughs> but what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, Awkward. I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. What? Well, you and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please. I'm just toying with him. <laughs> I only take my claws out for someone special. Okay. You and sure. I. Sure. Uh oh. Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Uh oh. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, uh, you'll get the hell out. Oh, I don't want to throw down. I this. said, leave! She's with me. I think you need to leave. Ooh, sick burn. Uh-uh, no you don't. Ooh. Whoops. Okay. Oh, great. Oh. Uh oh. Not bad. Uh oh. Okay, I pressed the wrong button initially, but. Ooh, I have a choice here. You know what? Smash him on the pool table. <laughs> I would have went with the bar, but not done yet. Oops. Huh? I nice slow sweep. I think they want that. more. Then let's give it to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh oh. Pretty boy. Search him. Come on, this way. Smart. Okay, so... Quick, check the alleyway! Uh-oh. You see anything? Negative, let's check the other side. Are we alone? 
Get it done. Let's get out of here. Oh. I'll take Ooh. the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. What? <sighs> you know what? Let's ask the obvious question. When will I see you again? <sighs> when you least expect it. Truth. You shouldn't trust me, you know. <laughs> All right. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Ooh. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce. There are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Uh, whatever time. they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hmm. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. Sure. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. True. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Oh, so it's decision time. Do I go as the bat? Or do I roll in as Bruce Wayne? You know what? Let's uh let's rely on our guile heel and, and head in as the son of Thomas and Martha Wayne. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. City Hall at 7.03 p.m. I think there were broken windows there. Uh, this is probably what had happened with... Uh... Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. Uh... Excuse me, Mr. Wayne? I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows, maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. <laughs> nice. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. Mm -hmm. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. Yeah. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It yep. is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Well, why attack me? 
because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files Ooh. I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, Maybe I can make it right. Noble, but naive. It was so long ago, there's nothing left of the Cobblepot estate. Hmm. Maybe if I could count on you as an ally, I could use the powers of my office to help you make reparations. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Uh. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, mm. I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't know. This one's hard. I can't ditch Harvey Dent for what he's done for me. I'm sorry, but... Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things. And I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow. But the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Stay away from the debate. It's not safe. <laughs> I missed my chance to humiliate Dent. It'll take more than Cobblepot to keep me away. Oof. Woof. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Hmm. Oh boy. The incumbent. Looks like we have a little bit more to work with. Now... I wonder what else is on here. So that. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Smart. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. <laughs> yeah. Hells, details about your father. It must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. I know, but it's hard to hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me...
makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. Uh -huh. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Okay, so here I can Gotham check out. District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some Oh yeah, the nightly news. The I think like that too. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight the at the Stack Deck Bar upgrade. in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in no, recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, on with Thomas all the suspects taken into Wayne. custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an extra entry man and woman on who were seen Alfred. in conversation with the assailants shortly before an extra the fight. Entry on Harvey Dent. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path Mayor to the mayor's Hill. office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, Rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent so, Mayor like, Hill's campaign. Like I'm miffed by that. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars yeah, expecting so, a like, quiet night They're going to repeat this all over again, so like, forgive me if I say all this, if, I, if you're hearing all this, multi multitude of times. But I mean, it's just recapping what's been happening for the last couple chapters within episode 2. So, there's that. So, let's hop out of the codex. And check out the Gotham feed for Harvey anything. To be some so again, this, to this is all office. text. The so I'll Wayne, make sure I go through it as quick as I can. But his staff you know, and um, a Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more huh. than a smear tactic. Yeah. And of course, you're, if you're a slow Mayor reader, you're more than welcome to uh, to. Well, I'll hold the clip once I upload it to YouTube and read it, you know, you know, wow, level on the polls between Harvey Dent and Mayor Hill, how about that? Oh my god, yeah, we had to remind my, ourselves of what just transpired over at the docks. And then of course, yeah, the, the Falcone getting murdered at the hands of the 5-0 of Gotham PD. Of and of course, Wayne, biggest concern is distrust with respect to, you know, a well. A spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. Yeah, there's more of this, so again, you know. In other news, nobody goes so that's to that. So now let's check out the security feeds. Wait a minute. The images oh. on these cameras haven't changed. Mm. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Yeah, you go, Batman. Dark Knight is on the case. to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, 
I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Why? why what happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. No, oh, you mean because of this penguin threat. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look, Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Oh. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public. But you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Look, as long as you... No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. Of course, Harvey. You got it, my man. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. No matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Even though you may be com becoming two-faced later on. And I mean the villain character, by the way. up there Jim yeah all quiet so far I've got a feeling that's about to change I'm glad I took a chance on this this collaboration of ours keep on doing what you're doing and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do a hero I hope so hero is a lofty title I hope I live up to it could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. Who? Oh. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless <laughs> it's on request. Oh, this better not come back to bite me. Relax, patrol, Jim. Come in. You're gonna be fine. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like, you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much <laughs> into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. Oh, sure. And my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> now you have a shot to my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dan, Lieutenant. <laughs> Here we go. Mm.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, and yes, a mass vigilante loose on our streets. Surprise! Ah. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Bring the moderator. Oh God. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages. I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Oh God. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. Mm. <gasps> You'll do. Get out of here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. How do we play this out? Ooh. So, so this will be the same thing as... Okay, light stand or... Ooh. Or the Catwoman or a ceiling. You know what? I'm gonna link this guy up with the... With this guy. Let's see how that flies. First. Sounds fun. All right, this guy. I don't want Catwoman to be doing all every little bit. Door or table. You know what? Let's smash the door open. Let's see if that does anything. Ooh, like that. Now, finally, this guy. Okay, TV or cam stand. Let's bust him on the TV. There we go. I think we're good. Oof. Nice. Yeah, no. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. from our sponsor. My Gotham Club brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose 
expose the corruption that's rooted in your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, yeah. we show you the truth. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Mm. Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Oh dear. Oh dear. Jim, we're good, Jim. Calm down. happening. Batman! You certainly know how to make an entrance. Where 
is your mate, Bruce Wayne, your biggest supporter, and he didn't Jeez. even turn <laughs> up. <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let Dent go! And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. Oops. Oi. Oh crap. Decision time. Who do I save? Uh, uh. Sorry. Sorry, Harvey. I made a terrible decision here. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Yeah, this much we know. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Episode 2 Children of Arkham has come to an end. Alright, so. Me and 74.4% of the players have eased Falcon's pain with morphine. Yeah, I couldn't have made him suffer either way, because I wanted to learn what was up with the whole thing between him and, and Bruce's parents. Did I try to kiss Selena? Yes, I did. Along with 78.5% of the players. Also, um, I visited Mayor Hill as Batman, or not Bruce Wayne, excuse me, along with 57.3% of the players. 
<laughs> no surprise that they went the other way, which might have been a bad move. And I did not withdraw funding for Harvey's campaign, along with 91.2% of the players. And finally, ugh, the ill-fated decision I had made. I elected to save Selena over Harvey, along with 62.1% of the players. So here you go. These are all the stats. But man, I've been, I still am scratching my head over, you know, over this and hopefully you know like I won't you know what's the word I'm looking for I won't I'll, I won't find myself you know what's the uh, there's, oh my god I can't even I can't even like you know say like sit I can't, I can't even like you know I can't even just think oh well hopefully the next episode won't be as lethal but odds are it's too deep for me to you know get with it and everything so like hopefully i can find out what's up coming up next time on batman the telltale series well i guess i'm gonna leave you with that and I'll see you next week. So if you love the content that you saw here, you can, of course, give me a follow here on Twitch. You can also check out my antics on Instagram, instagram.com slash LG65. You can check out my YouTube Let's Plays along with Twitch stream highlights at youtube.com slash legendpoy65. You can also check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash legendpoy65. And finally, you can check out my Twitter at LG underscore 65. So thank you once again for watching. And I'll see you guys next week for New World Order. So take care, everyone. And remember, life's good. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, Who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... they want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding! Not for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce!